Hi, today I want to show a small fix for UPSs from a company like Eaton, which works well with Windows but not with Linux. And if you want to install it with Proxmox and the uh, Windows VM as a guest with a USB pass-through, you might have an issue. I've installed Windows, I've passed the USB port, and the issue is that Windows didn't recognize the device. It recognized it by name, but it didn't recognize it as a battery, as a UPS, because Windows 10 does recognize UPS. And even with Eaton Companion software, it didn't recognize the device. So I looked everywhere and finally I found some solution. And the solution is simple. If we look here at the processor, we can check which type we need. Most of the time the default is KVM64, but the problem with KVM64 is that it doesn't show the Windows guest all the capabilities of the virtual machine. In order to recognize all the capabilities, you have to change the type to host. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter if you have Intel or AMD. So you'll need to change it to host, and then you can boot the machine, and after you'll boot and install the companion, you'll see that it works pretty well. As you can see, this is the Eaton Companion software. And if we look here, you can see this plug. If you see this plug, even without running the Eaton software, or you see a Windows battery, which uh, tells you that you have X percent of battery, that means that the Windows recognize the UPS and you can use it. And then you can, of course, uh, set it to boot the device, power off the machine, whatever you want to do. That's the issue and that's the simple fix. Thanks for looking at it and I'll see you next time.